Hi guys, it's Julia. Bella Porch DM me on Instagram and asked if I can draw her like one of my French <laughs> girls. I wanted to draw her anyway, so I just hesitated on which picture I should choose because it has to have a cool composition and also the quality has to be nice because the better the quality of the picture, the better the drawing will be. So um, I asked her if she has like a favorite picture and she sent me this one that no one has seen yet and um, which looks really cool, you're gonna see in the end. And because Bella has like a baddie side and like a good girl side, I was wondering which, as like which character I should draw her. And she just said like surprise me with it and um, that's what we're gonna do. So um, I'm excited for her reaction too, which I will either post on my Instagram, TikTok or this video. I don't know yet, so we'll see. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy and I will just take you along with uh, the whole process, how I uh, prepare everything, what products I use and just a bunch of tips to throw on there which might be helpful to you some fellow artist friends. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you're an artist yourself if you watch this. So let's get yourself ready and take some tea or some crisps and let's just snuggle ourselves for some arts and crafts. <laughs> So I just started out with a sketch of Bella and I sketched in the proportions of the face um, inserted like the eyes and lips and nose and some little butterflies that I thought would look cute and this is the result of the sketch. And this by the way is my uh, workspace where I have all my, well not all of my but some of my artworks hanging. And yeah, I really love it. Back to the drawing. I am first starting out with a layer of red and then following up with uh, adding the blue depth with a blue pencil. Because drawing skin is actually quite complicated and you can't just use like one flesh color. And I like to layer a lot of blue tones, yellow tones, green tones and red tones on top of each other to create a specific look of the skin so it also depends on which undertone you have I have a kind of yellowy undertone for example and the pencils I'm using are two kinds I really love the polychromos from Faber Castell and I recently also started using the Caran d'Ache luminance pencil they are so creamy and really make a great skin tone when you um, layer them on top of each other. I was recently also on the hunt for the best pencil sharpener, which sounds crazy I know, and I was researching hours and hours for the best one and one artist recommended that one because it can not only sharpen the polychromos pencils but also the new ones that I have. But I was very disappointed when I found out that it's sharpening so weird. It looks like a mushroom when you sharpen it and then you have to put it in the other hole to sharpen the mushroom, you know? That's kind of weird. But anyways, for the eyebrows I take a really well sharpened black pencil and just add like light strokes so it looks quite fine and cute little strokes. Here you can see I'm drawing just the hair and I'm also adding green as an undertone to it and also blue because um, black hair always has like a blue hue to it so it looks more realistic and for the hair I kind of developed my own technique looking where I want to have like a shiny hair and the parts where I want it to be very shiny I just leave it completely white and I draw from each end and draw inwards like each hair strand and as you can see the more I leave out the more it looks like shiny and beautiful and luscious hair and so for the lips I use a little trick 
and um, you know everyone has like this little creases in the lips and I crease those in the paper with a knife and um, it's called an extractor knife this way when you draw over it uh, these parts stay white so you don't have to um, parts in later What I love about this picture is Bella's kind of innocent look and her beautiful hair that's black and long and straight and these cute tails. I thought adding like a few butterflies might add a little bit of a cool extra to it because her outfit is kind of like out there and her like, I don't want to say new image because looking back she always had this kind of tough side to her but obviously when she started on TikTok I think most of her videos were more on the cute side so I thought it would be cute to combine those two with this little um, addition I drew this at night actually and um, my sleeping schedule is so wrecked and yeah it's not good I kind of wake up um, at 2 p.m. sometimes later I don't know and I go to bed sometimes at 5 a.m. I know it's so bad but and I'm, I'm really trying to uh, correct it but anyways the lighting is not very good as you can see but in the end I show you how it looks in daylight it looks much better because at night it's over flooded with fake lighting because I have a fake daylight the direction we were moving was clear now without wanting it without even knowing it we were becoming we were a gang, gang. 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 As you can see, I drew some parts with these pencils from Arteza that they sent me a year ago or something like that. And some of them have dried out a little bit, so I'm a little bit sad, but you can still draw with them for <laughs> like a few strokes. So, um, yeah, I don't know if that's normal, but um, yeah, uh, I used them to create a base and to draw over the base with the pencils so the color looks more deep and there's less white coming out from the paper and I basically just do like strokes for the hair and add on top like with the black and blue pencils until it looks like a whole bunch of hair and yeah You know, when I was a child, I was uh, very shy. I mean, I still am, kind of. But um, in some of my difficult times, art helped me a lot to find peace, since it's so therapeutic. And what I like about art is, well, I think most people pursue popularity in any kind of form, but when it comes to art, it's kind of different, because you're doing art mainly for yourself, right? And that's what I think I like about it. Because you become the maker and the judge so you improve not for other people but for yourself so I think art gave me self-confidence and freedom and that is actually so pretty cool to me I sent the drawing to Bella and she was very sweet and liked the drawing which made me quite happy thanks so much for watching and if you want to see more of my art don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment below your wish for the next video and I will choose an idea. You can also find me on Instagram and TikTok uh, for more art and personal insights. And yes.
So please don't ever stop being creative. Thanks so much guys and I hope you have a great day. Bye!